Do you know these moments where you feel trapped in a negative thought spiral? If the answer is yes, this episode is for you. In today's episode, I will teach you four powerful techniques that will help you to stop negative thinking. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for my videos. And if you have been with me for a while, welcome back and thank you so much for being part of this amazing community. So what are the four tools that can help you shift negative thinking? Number one, work with a special mantra. A mantra is a word or a phrase that's usually repeated during meditation. It can help you to calm your mind and to shift your vibrational frequency. The mantra that I want to share with you today is peace begins with me. And what's special about it that you repeat this mantra in combination with a mudra, which are certain hand postures. So you touch your thumb to a different fingertip while repeating the mantra. So peace begins with me. Peace begins with me me and you repeat that mantra for about like a minute or so and you'll see not only a huge shift in your mind but also in your whole nervous system. Tool number two is a separator. In NLP a separator is an instrument that interrupts any kind of pattern. In our case the pattern is thinking negative thoughts. There are many different separators such as saying out loud the word stop or another one is to slightly snap a hair tie or a rubber bands against your wrists. You can also use Mel Robbins five second rule which is counting backwards from five. The important thing with a separator is that afterwards you either move, you shift your focus or you think a positive thought to really make a change. Another amazing way to interrupt negative thought patterns is to work with affirmations. Affirmations contain the word affirm. So you state or you confirm something. And affirmations are based on neuroplasticity, which was discovered in the 1960s. And that is the brain's capability to form new connections and new pathways. So let's say you have an important work event coming up and your mind is constantly going, I will fail, I can't do this. You can now use a positive stated affirmation to make a shift. This could be, for example, success comes easily to me, I believe in my capabilities, or simply I can do this. Generally, when working with affirmations, it's important that you connect a positive feeling with the words that you're saying. And in case you're struggling to shift from the negative thought loop that you had to a positive feeling, you can use the words with every breath. So you would say, with every breath, I believe more and more in my capabilities. With every breath, I am more and more confident. And tip number four is gratitude. So in case you're stuck in a negative thought loop, ask yourself, what am I grateful for right now? And gratitude is so, so powerful because it shifts your energy and your focus from lack and fear to abundance and everything that you already have in your life. A famous quote by Tony Robbins says, trade your expectation for appreciation and your whole world changes instantly. So maybe you can even find something to be grateful for in the situation that you're negatively thinking about. So if we use the example of the work event, maybe you can see it as an opportunity to learn and grow and therefore find gratitude for it. So those were the four tools that can help you to shift negative thinking. I'll repeat them once again. Number one is a combination of a mantra and the mudra, peace begins with me. Number two is a separator, such as an anchor word stop or the five second rule of Mel Robbins. Number three is an affirmation that you keep repeating in your mind. And number four is to ask yourself, what are you grateful for? Now I'd love to know from you, what was your biggest takeaway and how can you put it into action starting now? Leave a comment below and I would also love to connect with you on Instagram at hannahwiz underscore. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week and until then, never forget to shine your light.